Whitehawk model 24 MRB here at Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Previously known as the 20 MRB, they just gave it a, a slight face, well, inside and out full facelift. And uh, they did add a little extra storage and uh, they did uh, change the model number to kind of better reflect a, a little closer to the true length of this one. Um, this is a, uh, a member of the Jayco family, which has the, uh, the, the best-selling travel trailer out there, the J-Flight, which this is basically the J-Flight Ultralight, just called the White Hawk. Anyway, um, I truly believe every trailer is the best for different reasons, and I put these videos together to kind of point out where they all sort of shine supreme. The thing is with the Jayco, my videos tend to run long because they have a lot more supreme qualities. Uh, for example, this has twice the warranty of anybody else that I'm really aware of in a lightweight class. Uh, reason being when a lot of guys start building lightweights because they strip out structure instead of using better processes and materials and they can't support that two year warranty. Jayco's using a higher grade power tongue jack, power awning. Uh, long story short, it moves faster, it's stronger, it lasts longer, it's more problem free, better service record, and full LED light strip here. A lot of uh, lightweights have power awnings, not all of them have these kind of cool power light strip features. Um, Front diamond plate. Lightweights tend to drop that off quite often just to save an extra pound or dollar or two. And I mentioned that uh, power tongue jack there just makes setting up your campsite so much easier, getting it hooked up to the truck so much easier. Uh, we're looking at uh, standard frameless wind. Oh, by the way, this thing comes in about 5,200 pounds, so uh, very easily towable. And that's the whole point of this one. When we get inside, you're going to see why. This is two floor plans in one, but we'll get there in a minute. I'm getting ahead of myself. Frameless windows. They keep the seal hidden under a UV tinted window pane. That's something else I've noticed all of a sudden here. To try to be uh, internet price competitive, manufacturers have stopped using UV tinted windows on quite a few trailers. That means that your furniture is going to sun fade and you lose privacy. Um, these little plastic totes are really sweet. First of all, you can get to the storage under the rear of the dinette from outside the camper and inside. And you have those handy little uh, totes you can slide out to get easy access to that storage space. When we start talking lightweight trailers, lamination comes into key. Um, a lot of trailers have nice laminated sidewalls, but walk over to the side of the slide out. On a Jayco, it is fully laminated. That means it's fully insulated, it's stronger structurally, it's just better. It's gonna hold its shape longer, it's gonna have less instance of failure, it's just a better built coach. It's also vacuum laminated, not pinch rolled laminated. Nothing wrong with pinch rolling. Vacuum lamination is a little more expensive, but a better, stronger, longer lasting process. That's why they use it. Um, spread axle design down here. These axles are put an extra nine inches apart. That's gonna give you more stability at high speeds going down the road. And hey, nope, nobody ever complains about good looking aluminum wheels. Um, we have a gas and electric 18 gallon per hour water heater. A lot of lightweights uh, have only a 7 to 11 gallon uh, water heater. You see there is a ladder on the back of this because it is a fully walkable roof. This has the same roof structure essentially as their, their big fifth wheels at Jayco. It's just a smaller trailer. They don't scale down construction. They only shrink the length of the trailer. This is cool. Your outside kitchen here has a true one hand door because you have a magnetic door latch. So you don't have to worry about that little plastic thing over here falling apart. This thing is going to work just as well today as tomorrow as every other day. Um, outside kitchen here has uh, you know a nice little college kid mini fridge. We have our little two burner stove top out here so you can uh, get your food cooking and whatnot. Now if you look at this big pocket in here, first of all you're going to see that even outside the camper you have LED lighting going on in your Jayco. Secondly, there's a power outlet right there so if you want to put uh, like a, uh, a toaster or something like that in here you can and this is extra deep compared to a lot of other manufacturers I've seen by the way if you ever spot this little bumper bracket right here that's a dead giveaway that there is an outside grill included with this camper that is an option that we like to put on our campers and it's actually a good time for me to mention there are a lot of options and upgrades present in this video um, this is kind of stock footage uh, not every single one is going to look just like this 23 MRB not 24 I think I misspoke earlier this by the way is a little outdoor TV bracket your TV inside can mount outside the camper plug in down here inside outside TV service uh, I don't know if the wind has hit the camera it is a little windy today but watch this I can fling this door and it does not smash the side of the trailer this has a friction sprung door the other cool part about that is because you don't need a hold back, you can open the door all the way. So the sharp little corner is further away from like, you know, grandkids shoulders and things like that. I think I mentioned, uh, pretty sure I did 5,200 pounds on this floor plan. Um, another feature I like on this model, right when you walk in, handy, all-inclusive little control center right here. So turn off my awning light, 
kick on my interior lights. Now this is another difference on these. You have a single switch, full living room light uh, uh, setup basically. So you don't have to um, you know, go through and switch on each light individually. Not to mention you're getting more light fixtures in this model than a lot of other brands. Uh, we're gonna, I usually work front to back. We're gonna go backwards today because this is a Murphy bed model. Um, you, you know, I kind of like to save the best for last, basically. This is a full deep slide over here. Oh, by the way, this color scheme is called Twilight. It's a lighter colored leatherette. At this time, there's also coffee, which is a brownish cloth, and um, shadow, which is a dark leatherette. Again, I mentioned because the pictures that we have uh, reflect the unit in stock, whereas this is just stock footage. So a full deep slide, whereas lightweights commonly have just a 18-inch uh, a, uh, a baby slide. This is 36 inches deep. Freestanding table. You can float around, move around anywhere you please, anytime you please. And again, I mentioned those little um, totes. This has easier access to storage underneath the dinette drawers here. So you don't have to tell everyone to get up, get out of your seats, get off the table, and you don't have to climb back in there to try to get something that may have shifted in transit. Um, uh, nicer night shades instead of metal blinds in your Jayco's. Um, also, all of your drawers are 100% plywood construction. Uh, you're not going to notice particle board or OSB anywhere, and they are all on full extension runners here. Um, back to the main living cabin here. A 23-foot uh, ultralight with central air conditioning is not a common thing. Uh, so you are going to get more efficient airflow going on in here. Good, time, uh, good summertime camper. Um, you are looking at what is not... This is, this is not the grade of TV you're going to put in your house, guys. It's better. This is a Furion Entertainment Center. Furion TV uh, entertainment system all in one here and outside speakers. Uh, Furion Electronics are way higher grade. They're made to be shaken. You can shake these really hard before they fail. Um, you can freeze them. You can heat them up really hard. And, and you need to do that because that's the kind of extremes a camper goes through. Your home electronics don't need to be this good quality because they, they don't go through those extremes. Um, this is, by the way, Bluetooth, DVD, CD, stereo, anything and everything you ever imagined, it can do it. It literally even has a microphone input or a microphone receiver on it. So you can take hands-free calls through your camper no joke um the uh oops i put my little door stop down here the refrigerator in a white hawk is an eight cubic foot refrigerator freezer instead of a six that you find in almost every single lightweight out there so this has a 33 percent larger refrigerator look at the kitchen pantry space in this thing that is absolutely incredible you could search high and low and you'd be really hard pressed to find another lightweight trailer that gives you that kind of space. And did you notice something cool down here? They even gave you a spot for your trash can. That's pretty cool. While we're looking at the kitchen, I like to point out these overhead doors over here. Um, and the fact that Jayco does give you bigger cabinetry. They don't give you the illusion of cabinet space. That's roughly about a dinner plate size, right? Everyone's seen a microwave tray. But you can see that there's plenty of room in here. So this has actually very large cabinet space. A lot of lightweights have started to shave back their cabinets to save some weight. And you give up storage space for it. Uh, you know, like they're still using four full extension drawers here in the kitchen at Jayco. That's extra money. That's extra time. That's extra weight. Other manufacturers might not do. But, I mean, it's not hard to imagine. You're going to use drawers in your camper every single darn day. Um, they, get, they gave you back your countertop space here with a, uh, a fitted sink cover, and it fits pretty good, so it's not going to jump out of place. And it's a giant single basin sink. You could wash a baby in there if you need to. Grandpa's grim as if you're camping. Take notes on that. Uh, let's step back to the rear bathroom real quick. Um, huge rear bath. Let me close these mega drawers here real quick. Lots and lots of floor space. You can get dressed in this bathroom, you know. You've got lots of privacy back here. We have a fifth wheel shower, not a travel trailer tub. Um, we have a porcelain stool, not plastic. Uh, additionally, down here is the outside kitchen. Above it, we get the biggest closet you've ever seen in a lightweight trailer. Uh, if <laughs> A sumo wrestler could play hide and seek in here if you could somehow squeeze them in here, but that is true. Um, your cabinetry in your Jayco's is better grade. Here we go, here's a good example. Uh, we're looking at, oh, let's see, it's not gonna light up for me. There we go, pocket screwed construction. This wood is screwed into that wood. It's not um, stable, it's not glued. Walk up to other lightweight trailers and try to twist this piece of wood. A lot of them you could easily wiggle right out of place. That's not gonna happen in your Jayco's. Um, 
and again, big drawers here in the bathroom. You're always going to have something you can put in a drawer. Uh, let's see here, moving forward. Now we're getting down to the really cool part of the trailer. One thing I forgot to mention, uh, a skylight added above the kitchen here. This is one of those options I was talking about. We're probably going to put this in just about every White Hawk we carry, but I want to mention that it is not a standard feature. So here's the cool thing with this floor plan. You're hauling a 20 foot, uh, 23 foot trailer down the road, but you get the benefit of a 30 foot trailer. During the day, most people don't use their bedroom. It's a kind of waste of space to them. So they kind of combine that here with a Murphy bed setup. And to show you how easy it is to manage, I've only got one hand because I'm setting the, uh, you know, I'm holding the camera with the other hand. You just jackknife the sofa down, unlock the bed, and down she comes. That's all there is to it. One hand operation. Now you've got a front bedroom as opposed to a front living room. It's two floor plans in one. We get a front walk around bed and a front living room in the same trailer. Now what's nice, you're not looking at a cheaper wafer bed like I have seen in some other knockoff Murphy bread, uh, bed brands. That's tough to say apparently. This is the Denver mattress. This is the same kind of mattress you can get in your house. It's a pillow top. It is a far higher grade uh, mattress than you're going to get in, in, in any other trailer. They spend more money on their mattresses at Jayco than anyone else, so you get a better night's sleep. Is it a sleep number? No. Is it that blue floral pattern wafer bed you get from most campers? No, it's way better than that. Notice too, a nice little update here. Their, their wardrobes on each side, they have a shelf in them, and you can remove that shelf or move that shelf out of there if you want to, so you have customizable space even in your wardrobes. They are absolutely killing it. When you're ready to put it away, just simply lift the bed back up out of the way. There's struts that help you with that so that it's not heavy and it's not tough. And again, with one hand, I can fold this thing up, convert it from a front living room to a bedroom and back in literally seconds. No exaggeration. So give us a call. 800-256-5196. Halid RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Thank you, everybody. Take care. Stay safe. Happy camping.